What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We are going to do a stipulation by none other than Kerwit himself. Stipulation is alternate casting costs and casting from Graveyard and Exile. So we're prioritizing those cards. Cards with alternate casting costs or cards that you can cast from the Graveyard or an Exile. Or I assume cards that go with those cards. And we'll start with Mox Emerald because that is... Typically, there are stipulations for power, but also uh, it's Mox. And I don't think there's anything else that has an alternate casting cost in here. Uh, I think the shade you can bring back from the graveyard. What's going on? Leave Kitty Cat alone. Alternate casting cost and cast from, the, and cast from graveyard and exile. Does reanimating count as casting it from the graveyard? Soul Ring being honorary power. I believe that is not considered cast. Really? I mean, it's not up to you, though. You know? It's like, it's... No, I'm the, I'm the man who makes the rule. <laughs> you sound very confident. Christian, let me know. Because I'll take like I'll take one of these. I'll probably take Archon, assuming that like reanimating does not count. Okay, that's good to know. None of these have alternate casting costs, so I'm just gonna go with Signet here. Alternate casting costs, graveyard exile. It's it's something I have to keep in mind because like I'm looking at each card with that with that lens. Uh Sheldock Isle has Let's you play something from Excel, so we'll take that. This is kind of showing me how many cards there are that have alternate casting costs, or and it's very few. Is is the point? Big Ugin. Yeah, I think it is Ugin here. Does that like it? Well, like we have a lot of colorless going on, and also like. It was Sheldon. Right. Right. You know, you so you hit. Blight Steel. Emery does let us play things from our choose our artifact. You may cast that card from the graveyard, so we'll take it, Emery. If Memory Deluge comes back, that'd be nice because that has flashback. You could have the land too. What, what was land? The, uh, the, the green, green you know, discard. Sage? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I guess that would count. You're, it's an alternate. It's You're casting it for a cost that is not its written mana cost. Does suspend count as an alternate cost? It, I think it's literally it, it, by definition. <laughs> right? Suspend is an alternate way to cast it, yeah? Rather than cast it. Yeah, that seems good. I'll take a Riffling Cloudscape. Also, well, all these cards are just good, so that's good. It's good, it's good, it's good. What is, how do you see Stoneforge? What's your perspective on Stoneforge? Because the triggered ability is considered like an alternate way to cast the swords. I assume you mean activated, but. Yeah, that that is what I meant. Like you've been playing Magic for like 20 years, you got another between activated and triggered. see. Started in 08. So. Not quite, but we're getting there. Oh, an Ancestral Vision? Perfect. Perfect. Remember in Street Fighter? Perfect. Remember that? That's when you don't get hit. When you got the flawless. I'm just I played Street Fighter 2 so much, it's insane. You just said it once or twice. Why would you lie? You play a decent amount of Street Fighter 3. And we got oh, these. Oh, yeah, do that. Uh, the Hello Fresh order got here today. And they give you. The, oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> That's going well. They give you these sweet recipe cards. They're this big. They have all the ingredients. All the ingredients over here. This is what it looks like, or what it should look like. And then all your directions are on the back. It tells you how to make it. So. Also, one thing I wanted to point out that we talked about upstairs. You can put them on your fridge, so you can copy the recipe, like, yourself and buy the grocery. Yeah, that's what we used to do. Like, me and Katie had our recipes on the fridge for the longest time, in case we wanted to. We got, like, quesadillas, and we got a bunch of other ones last 
Dam has an alternate casting cost. Multi kicker is definitely an alternate casting cost. I don't know if we want to go into white yet. Bane black if we don't need to. Uh, this is a double white card. And we got an Azuri Signet. Okay, so it's not being a little biatch. <clears throat> I didn't consider that. I'm going to take Retrofitter Foundry. That's not, not a casting cost, though, right? It's just an... It's just a kicker, if you will. Uh, no, but, I mean, Landfall literally says you may cast it from your graveyard. Uh, I didn't know that card, so... That seems, seems good. good. Just splash count. Yeah, I think I'm just going to take this for the sake of our deck. I, I don't think we're going to be playing... Uh, so the only colors we have right now are blue. And if I'm going to take a white... I guess we could take Coma. None of these have alternate costs, right? No. Coma's pretty slapping. I agree. And we also have Mox Emerald. Also, the stipulator said you can... You don't have to be strict on the stip. Make a good deck. Gotta keep them stipulating. The, the noises that started coming out were very strange. Also, Kermit comes good for Sheldock. Yeah, but we could be. Yeah, yeah I think it's early enough to where we can build around. Mike, Mike B is always right. You must mishear, mishear what he said. I'm just going to take Garrick, I guess. Uh, I don't love Edric, but we're not... I mean, like, we're closer to this guy. So you wouldn't marry him. I don't think so. I think you thought about it, though. <laughs> I took Reclaimer, because, like, we can get Sheldock Isle, and also, with Retrofitter Foundry, I'd like to get an Urza. 15th pick, Rafelos. 15th pick. Put some respect on my boy's name. It's messed up. I'm disgusted. I have vomit in my mouth. It's good enough to be banned in a format, so... Oh, Muldrifter has a, an alternate casting cost. It's an evoke. You ever evoked, Michael? Only on Tuesdays. Hmm. Fascinating. Dig Through Time has an alternate cost... Man, lands would be nice, you know? You know what I'm saying? I think I can get down where you're saying. Yeah, I think it's just dig through time. I would consider, like, because you're, you're dealt, right? It costs, instead of eight, it costs a different thing, right? It costs four or five. So I'm going to... Nothing else is alternate, right? No, not really. All right, I'll take a dig through time. I don't mind a dig through time. Ooh, Euro has escape, which means I can cast it from my graveyard. That's great. We're gonna we're gonna take this guy because he's pretty cool. I also don't think there's anything else that has an alternate cost or cast from the graveyard or exile. So cards with alternate cost so far. Or that, that contribute to the stip. Seven's not bad. And this Rafelos was 15th pick. Oh, Sheldock out too. So that's actually eight cards. Does a cycle count? Cycle, you're not casting it, so probably not. Not that we necessarily take it, but I would just, you know. Michael's eating his big cookie. His big cookie half. Nothing in here. Scarab God. It's not letting us cast it though, right? Like it's no. the same as reanimating, so. Yeah. I mean, I guess the the land would count. You're still not casting it though, you know? So, I mean, like, I think that's. Borderline. Of course, I don't think we want it. I mean, I would just take Druid for the deck. Really? I would take a Sylvan Library for the deck. I missed that. Yeah, take that. Yeah, okay. Um. Whisperwood doesn't let you... It's not an alternate cost, though. You're still paying the same price for them. You know what I mean? Like, 
if Whisperwood puts a, a three drop creature into play, you're still paying three to flip it up. Can you pay it with any color mana? Oh, for its mana cost. No, so it's still, you have to still pay the exact cost. Well, coming from your deck, though, so it doesn't really matter. This lets us play lands and creatures from the top of our library, which I think is close. It's also a very good card. Yeah, that's, that's kind of... That's kind of not bad. Deranged Hermit. Cards like S tier and Commander. That's better than Oracle. I don't think either of these do anything. No. No. Squirrels. No. No, no. You ever no. Been a squirrel? Not recently. I think I'm taking this because we do have opposition. Oh, yeah, it's pretty disgusting with that, actually. Oh, interesting. I I actually like Noble Hierarch here a lot. I think it's better for our deck, especially with our blue-green. Again, we don't have a ton of fixing. Yeah. Uh, none of these creatures are alternate casting costs or played from Exile or the Graveyard, so... Also, you said we don't have to be too strict. Right, but I want to make sure I'm looking that uh, looking oh, that over at least. Because if I'm not even if I'm not even like checking, then it's like not even what's the point? You dirty ass, Mitch. I deserve that. I think it might just be Hydroid Crassus. And big Oreo's good. <laughs> big Oreo's good. Yeah, that's because Big Oreo's got you in their pocket, Michael. I'd be sick if they, if I was. Let's put this over here. I'd take an Oreo endorsement. No, 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 no. Okay, so yeah, we can just take Avenger, I guess. A Gix card is giving me that um that meme where it's like, I'm sorry that happened or congratulations, but I ain't reading all that. I'm just going to take the Temple Garden here. Like, we have Azorius Signet and, and, and Noble Hierarch. It's nice to have the fixing in case it becomes relevant. It feels pretty good. For us, though? We have two non-basics. It's a little greedy. I guess our mana with it. This guy was a house the other day. I like houses. Mm, no. Yeah, okay, so none of these cards fit the criteria, so I'll just take the house. Field is greedy. We'd have to get a really lucky impact three with our fixing. Oh, the Devoted Druid came back? That's a bang. Deal. It's like one of my favorite two drops. <sighs> Questing Beast is one of my favorite four drops. Gives you two mana. Uh, Excel the top card you're and you play it. I guess that's close enough. <laughs> Mooch will be brought to you by Oreo's Maximum Stuffed Cookies. <laughs> no, he was just eating um, crumble. a crumble Oreo cookie, which is like a big chocolate cookie. With like a bunch of Oreo cream on it. And it is collab, so I think it, they use like real Oreo stuff. It's a collab. <laughs> That's what we call it in the sneakerhead world. Um, call that in every world. Uh, probably Misty Rainforest. Seems like a pretty key pickup. Did you, what about this guy? No. Really? I agree with you. What about this guy? No. He'll table anyway. You always get that card. He, I think you're right. I think it is Misty. I think. All right, I'm gonna take Misty for, uh, for the sake of our deck, especially because I, I would. Uh, this is the Abzan Trium. No, 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 no. I think Burger would count, but we can't cast it, so it seems bad. Uh, endurance counts, right? Exile. Evoke. Oh, it does. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Flash too. So even in pinch, it's not terrible if you just get a little little guy out of it. Cute little guy. Jace is pretty good. Is Jace the mind sculptor though? Yeah, it's a pretty good card. Um, he's better than all. I think he's gonna cast from graveyard or exile. Uh, actually, we could take Ashiok, too, because Ashiok puts the creatures into play from Exile. That's an argument. Also, it's 
pretty cool. Also, in a 40-card format, you, you can be pretty dangerous sometimes. I don't know. This is tough. I'll take the Endurance just for consistency's sake. Just because I don't want to, like, waver too far. Giant Triumph is pretty good for us. Especially with the Misty. I mean, it's the... It's just a red... It's just a Teamer Triumph, though. I mean, I think Special Bull Duel is good enough. Better than Sylvan Carry added. So... It's close. It's like the Triumph. I, I agree that Triumph could it's be... It's like Triumph's kind of like picking two cards, kind of, in a way. Yeah, I think this is definitely a great pick because uh, you're casting it from Exile, but I think it's more important to have correct mana with this with this deck. Also, I do feel like Carried could table. I agree with that. I don't feel like anyone's in green uh, with us. left eye is sometimes being covered by the Mox Emerald for some reason. Oh, wow, is it? That's really weird. I think it's just my face is turned, actually. I think that's just my face being turned this this far. I think you're actually just not seeing it. because that's how perspective works. Yeah, that's just perspective. Like, when I turn it, it's fine. But then I turn it this way, and you're I'm just not in the camera at that point. You could be watching on their phone where it's, like, kind of hard to see, to be fair. Not all of us have giant monitors, okay? Why not? Um, bu 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 bu. no, because you're not casting it. Yeah, you aren't. No one is. Could be. Nope, they cannot be. <laughs> that is incorrect. Probably should have cube then. Can't cast it. And they can't cast the dredge mechanic. They can cast the card. I. Like when you cast a land, you know. Nope. I don't want that. No alternate casting costs. Nothing in exile or graveyard. No, I think we're just taking suspicious stowaway. You ever cast this guy? The little filter guy? Yeah. Good definitely luck. days. Definitely not days. No days. Waterlog. Waterlog. Yeah, I think it is Waterlog Grove. Um, ch -ch 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 -ch. no, no. Doesn't really look like a leader pool. None of these do what we want it to do. It's like some kind of weird future fruit. Oh God, Days does have an alternate cost. I literally forgot about Days' alternate cost. That's hilarious. I apologize. That was just an oversight. It's confusing because no one ever casts it for its real cost. You know. I thought that was. Its, I thought returning on just was its cost. Actually, just what it costs. Uh, this guy has Delve, so I'll take this guy. What do you want to sacrifice? For what? Chicken dinner? Not much. I can just buy it. So it looks like you're willing to sacrifice money then. I have to take this Fire Blast because of the alternate cost, but I don't think Kerwood would make me take this, actually. No, that'd be stupid. It's a waste of pick. Why is the number one pick? You just take Thrag Tusk? Yeah, for your wife. <laughs> for your wife? <laughs> yeah, this will be the, the KD... Mo oh, my God. Dude, what the f what's wrong with these people? I'm taking it. What's that? Oh my god, do you hear him? Oh, Ashiok came back. Uh, put a card you own to the silver count on into exile into your hand. That's not casting it. So nothing, no alternate casting costs here. I think it's just Ashiok for the reasons we said where like you're putting a creature into play from exile. No, oh, this came back. Um you play lands and cast. This does let you play for for alternate casting costs. I don't think we'll ever be able to play it though. So I think for the sake of our deck, we're just gonna take this. What's up, Wallace? Ray? Hey my little champ. It's so sad they wasn't hanging out with us, you know? God, he's such a little cutie, man. Oh, he's cute. Uh, let me see. Sure. Hey, the Tri-Builder came back, too? Good grief. Damn. Pretty good. All right, well. It's funny, because we didn't really get many white guards, but Temple Garden is still... 
Um, I guess I was going to say it makes our Misty Rainforest a dry land, but we don't really need it, so. Now we have a lot of cuts to make. Oof. Don't think we need Crassus. Two. Two Delve cards is pretty rough, especially with a deck like this. I'm going to play Opposition or Deranged Hermit. Elvish Reclaimer is a little cute. Mm. We're not going to play Opposition? Mm, I don't... I mean, we've got Dorks. If we add the Hermit back in. Got Kai Belder. I don't know. I feel like this did not end up being an Emery deck. No, I cut that. This is 27 cards still. Good lord. So I think one, either one of these two should go. Probably the Murktide. You mean Murktide? Yes. Oh, I think Murktide's still very good in Vintage Cube. There are definitely black, red, or blue, red decks that can take advantage of it, like... Make a seven seven or six six or something. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna. We're just not that deck. Uh, it was Chris Sylvan, Sylvan, Rafelos. Like I don't even think we need Azorius Signet. Like we already have Rafelos, Sylvan Cariad, Sakura Tribal Devoted Druid. Plus Elvish Mystic Noble Hierarch. We could leave Whisperwood in. Maybe Avenger of Zendikar is not great. Also, Whisperwood can deck you. Not a man. What? That, that's never happened in the history of Whisperwood. No, no one's ever been decked by Whisperwood. You just sacrifice it. Oh. <laughs> Smart. You're like, oh, God, I have one card in my library. What do I do? I guess I'll just lose. Well, at that point, you're probably, it's probably too late. What's Thrift Timber saying against land destruction? What does that mean? What are you saying? I'm going to take Retrofitter Foundry out. I don't think we'd need it. All right, one more cut. We're, we're in the one more cut territory. One more cut. Do we need Or do we 16 it? No, our time is for time. Yeah, but we still have, like, all of these ramp cards. Yeah, run it. I think we could 16 it. And plus, we have Everflowing Chalice. 1741 it. I don't think we need Temple Garden, to be honest. There's nothing white, right? You know, white ability? No, no, I would put it. Put walls? No, this is Wally. Wally? God, he's such a little sweetie, man. He is. Wally's the sweetest dog I've ever met. I didn't even mind when he just farted a little bit. <laughs> I heard a little. <laughs> All right. That was you. Uh, I don't think we have nearly enough cards that are going to go to the graveyard early to get a Merc Tide. I think very often it's going to be a. 3-3 three, three, or a 4-4. Four, four. Plus, I'd rather not uh, make our graveyard too anemic because we also have Euro. So I don't want to be like, oh, I'll delve all my cards away. Play Euro. Can't do anything. So. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8, 11? That actually seems pretty good. I hate it when my graveyard's anemic. Is there? I gotta get my graveyard iron. Yeah, Wally and I dye our hair the same color. <laughs> and, and by dye, I mean we just look that way. You should just look Caucasian. Your son's on stream. So apparently there's a bunch of cool cube cards in the um, Warhammer 40k decks, which I didn't even know. Those decks are slapping. Yeah, I had no idea. I didn't really look much into them because I was like, 
<coughs> oh, these are probably just a bunch of A commander cards and B like reprints. But apparently there's some really wild stuff like this card Chaos Defiler. Oh, that card's good. That it's the same one I think it is. Manguchi said was in his cube. Oh yeah, that card's insane. It's a 5/4 for 5. It's obviously a commander card because it says when it it's a 5/4 for 5 with trample. I'll just show it up here for you guys. You guys have probably seen it. These sets have been out for like three months now, but I didn't even look at them really. Um, when it enters the battlefield or dies, so both both times it gets a trigger, for each opponent, choose a non-land permanent that player controls. So assu assuming you have three commander opponents, you destroy one of them at random. You get one, th one of the three gets destroyed. But in a 1v1 game, mm -hmm. you're just literally, it's just a Maelstrom Pulse on a 5-4 trample. <clears throat> like, and then you get to do it again when it dies. Like this card is nuts. I haven't played against it. Uh, it. It hit me every time, by the way, just for the record. <laughs> Choose Michael B. And when I, wasn't cast the, I wasn't the threat at all, so it felt good. Yeah, I'll be honest, man. Like, recently, like in the past two weeks, I asked Michael and Jake if they wanted to play Warhammer. I was like, you guys want to play Warhammer? I and, said, no, I hate you. And of course, Jake, because he's a store owner, that does smell like alcohol. That's hilarious. Mm -hmm. It's like very strong. I mean... I didn't check if there's alcohol on it. I there's, there's not. I didn't, I didn't see any. It did say white chocolate flavor, but I have no idea what that means. It means there's booze in it. it Michael got the... It's it's like Marino, I think. M-O-R-I-N-O. Or am I thinking of Torino? You're adding an O. Marine, that's Marina? No, it's like Morin something. Mo it might be Morin. Oh, that's my... Yeah. No, okay, hold on. Syrup after it'll it'll figure it out. <laughs> God, Monin, it's Monin. Yeah, that's what it is. We got the Monin syrup, and Michael got white chocolate flavored. And as soon as we smelled it, I was like, "This smells like alcohol." Also, they're so much better than that other brand. It's insane. Usually, the, we the get Tarani. Yeah. Look, here's watermelon, Michael. Why didn't you get this, you little shit? There, I think it was. There was a couple spots where it was out. <laughs> oh wow! I fucking can't, dude. <sighs> I guess I'll take a Mox. There's like a local... It's not exactly an Italian Come market, on, but it kind dude. of is. It sells it. It's great. Italian market? What are you talking about? Most of the stuff in that store is Italian-based. No, it's not. Yeah, it's, it is. No, it's not. It's literally just a warehouse for restaurants. It's got tons of Mexican foods. It's There's nothing Italian about that place. It's literally called Shamrock, which is Irish. <laughs> uh, Italian, obviously. No, no. no. All I know is like a lot of products were Italian. Sure, because there's Italian restaurants, but there's a lot of Mexican-based products as well. Because there's a lot of Mexican restaurants. I haven't fought the egg rolls. The Italian egg rolls? Mm -hmm. Wow, fascinating. <laughs> Tell me more. They're a brand called Tiny Turk. They look good, though. I didn't know because I imagined a scenario where I cook them all at once and eat them in one sitting. How many come in a pack? Oh, probably 20. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing is our freezer is extremely small. That was the other factor, actually. We and my overall health. This guy prowess? No. Yeah. I think I just... Float sometime. I wonder if I just let it, let it die. It's a tough call. No, I want the land. I'll just kill it with Garrick next turn. That's a better call. That's a better call, Saul. That was a good show, man. You're right. I should watch it. I'm glad I didn't play Everflying Chalice. They would have just nugged it. Nugged it. They would have nugged it. I nugged, nugged it today. today. What does that mean? Ten. ten of them. You ate ten nuggets, is what you're saying? Yeah. That's fascinating. I, I used some of my points to get a free uh, quarter pounder, and then I was like, let's throw some nugs and fries up in there. Wow, so free quarter pounder, nuggets, and fries is what you had? Yeah. yeah. So nugs. Basically, Michael only goes to the gym to break even <laughs> on his meals. No, I do a little better than breaking even. That's all you can ask for. That's it. That's like, yeah, I knew they were just going to kill. Are they killing Garrick or are they killing the wolf? They kill the wolf and then they just kill Garrick too. They get both. Yeah, that's good. The one thing I have done to make myself not feel as depressed on a week when I don't happen to lose weight is the fact that like if you're not losing weight, but you're staying even, but you're still like lifting more weight or doing more like... You're getting better in the gym. You're still technically losing weight because you're building muscle. Maybe you are. 
I'd hope, hope so. so. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually going to uh, cut back to four days a week. I'm trying a different different thing. Because five days is just... Five days is too much. Team J, bro. What up, my dude? Appreciate oh, the raid, up? even though you crushed me the other day. The king of the cube. Of oh, my God, you. dude. I don't understand how he... Like, I, I talked to him the other day. I was like, I don't understand how you do this many cube drafts. Like, and the number of trophies he has is the number he's won, not the number he's played. Although I assume the number he's won is probably like in the ninety percentile. That's like so. that's like losing to like Michael Jordan in a pickup game. Yeah, it's like, hard yeah. to feel bad. Oh, oh, I can't believe you lost to Michael Jordan. And also, you it's know? funny because he does so many Q drafts that I just assume he's on autopilot most of the time. Like, the, I imagine J Bro like sitting over here working on a computer while he's like clicking in his games. Yeah, he's like doing his. I think he's a lawyer or something like that. Uh, you're a city councilman, are you not? So he's Leslie Nope. But plays cube. One, two, three, four, five, cool. six. Oh, this is good. Let's do this. Put on top, but keep you, because come on, man. I assume anyone who's worked in government has definitely watched Parks and Rec. I can't imagine you wouldn't. Yeah. Say goodbye to all your stuff. J Bro is like uh is like the Jeremy Jam of Is it casting cost? Yeah, mana value. So we do lose our Sylvan Library, but I think that's a fine it's definitely trade. worth it. Uh, Produce Pals. Um, I think that's how you say your name. Uh, yes, I have had a Jamaican beef patty and the chicken one. They're pretty banging. I haven't had one in a long time, though. I have not because I don't eat meat. I don't eat beef. I don't well, eat the chicken's also ground chicken usually, so you probably wouldn't like it either way. Well, he just said beef patty, so... They make a they make a chicken and a, who they make a veg who does what are we talking about? It's just like a, a Jamaican food. Like they make like the it's like a homemade Michael it's like Jamaican bread. be crazy it's right a now. Stuff bread pocket, but it's Jamaican. It's got like a like curry spices and usually they're very good. I don't think we have any Jamaican food places around here though. Have you ever looked? Not specifically. Mm, so we could. But when I look for restaurants, I've never seen it. You know, on the list. Are they just gonna kill us here? Oh no! I think that's oh. So they're just on. a red aggro deck that happens to have the combo splash. It's pretty good. God, come on! Oh, that's formerly Mossy Beard. Okay. Well, what up, my dude? Who? Uh, Produce Pals. What? Yeah, he changed the name. No. Mm -hmm. We need to give him. <gasps> oh, they were just hoping to draw it. Yeah, Jamaican patties. Yeah. That's oh wow, they were just like playing. They were just like playing to the other outs. Oh, now we just get to kill Pestermite then. Fantastic. Fantastic. Go. Oh. oh, so also, much more I mean, comfortable. Ugin's a hell of a clock on his own, really. Just uptick, shoot him in the face. Big disgrace. He's very quick on the uptick, you might say. You get like uptake, but uptick instead. Uh, I got you. Okay. But. So just cut my love notification from Twitch. <laughs> oh, I like the love notification better, but yeah, that's that's good. You know, sometimes though, I do like it when people explain things to me because there's a good chance I may not know. You know, so. What do you know, Michael? Thank you. How much? Well, let's endure. No, let's riff wing Cloudscape. That's what I meant. That's what I meant to say. Only you seem to know. Dankus, what up, my dude? Is this them Pokemon? Yeah, this is Pokerman. The hero we need. Oh, we just win. I love you. You talking to me? Yeah. Okay, love man. I'm just referencing, uh... What's the name of the movie? I don't know. No one knows. You've seen it. Huh? Nope, never seen it. The original quote is, Welcome to Costco, I love you. And then we did watch it recently because you had never seen it. Welcome to Costco, I love you. Is it idiocracy? Uh, idiocracy, that's it. Yeah. Oh, that's hilarious. Man, that pizza looks good. Shit. It just doesn't do anything that's for me. That's not pizza. That's a that's a quesadilla. <laughs> not that I wouldn't destroy it. It's probably delicious, but it's not pizza. I don't think we have any great sideboard options against your boy. Your boy's big splints. <laughs> He did win, though, so that's pretty cool. I guess that's true. What was Force of Will going for? $75. Really? Yeah, why would, I, why would I lie about that? That's more than I want it to, to be. be. Well. Is there different printing in it that's not as There's bad. three printings. Michael, what am I, your 
What yes. You, what am I, your dominary or master historian? Yeah, you're my dominary, your master, your master, your daddy. What? You heard me. Jesus. You can't save you. Jesus. Let's go get a triumph. Get it out of the way. Okay, so I did watch it recently. Me and Katie and Michael and Christian watched it, Kerwit. Yeah. And Somewhat I don't recent. think it holds up as well. Yeah. Um, it's, it's almost aged. like too goofy and too ridiculous. It's got some great quotes, though. I still think it's worth a watch. What did they exile? A forest? Sure. Is a quesadilla a sandwich? I think so. Michael, you can't just say bankruptcy. I did not say it. I declared it. Oh, that's really good. They make quesadilla burgers. Oh, and that's a sandwich, so I think that's counts. discouraging. Don't like it. Are you talking about quesadilla burgers? <laughs> yes. Fascinating. Late notification. See, I, I told you I do this with Californication. I just make everything to the tune of Californication. And that's my curse. Too goofy. You know about, like, reality, right? I don't think so. Gonna get endurance. Unless you have a sweet counter spell. Mm, looks like you didn't. Do the salty counter spell. Hmm. I had not considered that. Oh, you're gonna just kill it. What? You're gonna pay that grim model of mana? To ch Why didn't you get rid of the treasure instead? This is really fascinating. That is an interesting, a bold choice of you all. What do I know, man? This is a lot of creatures coming at my brain. Straight for the brain. Like at this point, the uh, the seafaring werewolf is just worse for us than this guy, right? This guarantees you a card every turn. This gives you a card from us every turn that you may or may not be able to do anything with. Either way, I don't like it. I agree. It's not good. Are you just casting this for his kick twice? Wow, man. What are you doing? Kicking Why are you it. like this? Making my way downtown. You know that song? Okay. It's good every time. It's true. What is this? Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude, the number of times I accidentally hit the um, call button, like the call this group or this person on Facebook Messenger is like fairly high. Stop it. Can you put the sound for me? What? what are you talking about? Stop it. Get some help. Can you believe the thing is haste? Cards of Savage. All three of these cards are ridiculously overpowered, and that's why two of them are from Modern Masters. And the other one is from a set in the past year. So it's like... Uh, been a lot of red bangers lately. Like, it's funny because the cube is getting to a point where I'm like, is this guy good enough? I don't know. Is this guy good enough? I don't know. That guy's good enough because he kills those other two red guys <laughs> on the other side. Not that game, he don't. Oh, yeah, I was going to bring in Thrag Tusk. Let's bring in Thrag Tusk over. Actually, Wispy's good. Making my way downtown, Michael B. Take out Avenger. Actually, I'd say as far as the people accidentally call the chat, I think I'm like the least offensive when it comes to that. I don't think I've done it that many times. To what? To like accidentally calling the group. 
Oh, yeah. I've never done it, but I click the phone button and that's like, do you want to call? And I'm like, no. Oh, God. Never. That song basically says that RHCP thinks the moon landing is fake. I don't know if I know the lyrics well enough to agree with that. Illusion. The answer is no, because I don't even know what you're talking about. So it's definitely not a reference to that. Wow, what a little shit. What a little shitter. It's very rude. Don't like it. It's not very good, is it? God, you smell so sweet between that cookie and that, like, in that fucking. This, it smells so sweet, This Michael. entire smoothie, like. You need me to take it away from me? No, you just. It's like you're emanating sugar. <laughs> That's because there's a lot in my body right now. shake wasn't that unhealthy but the cookie certainly was also michael had this shake this it's, it's a smoothie i don't know why he calls it a shake there's no like ice cream in it though which is a shake it's a smoothie it's not five. well i guess technically it is really a milkshake doesn't doesn't need ice cream in it okay well whatever you say anyway it was tons of protein powder vanilla yeah vanilla flavor. uh white chocolate the white chocolate flavor in one serving which is a lot like 100 calories <laughs> um long. blueberries a banana and then he threw some spinach leaves in there because he's like you know what i can get my spinach i can get my spinach in here i mean it's a great little hack you don't really taste it get some vegetables i'm really your impressed by your opponent always having it it's pretty good if you like bananas and white chocolate and blueberries and spinach you can't taste that part although sometimes <laughs> Oh, jeez. This guy's got all the red bangers. Dude, it's unbelievable. Like Clearly, oh, no one was in red, and this guy got literally everything he ever Noble Hyrule, I'll kill with Burst Lightning. Turn to Chandra, I'll kill it with... Uh, I'll kill your Questing Beast with it. Turn three Augur, I'll use my Glory Burner to kill it. Oh, you don't have a fourth land, so you can't cast Whisperwood? Cool. You don't have a second blue, so you can't cast this guy? Cool. I guess we're just Muldriftering. Jeez, man. Uh, Thrift and Mitch. I always drink mine this, the day I make them. I don't like store them or anything. I just drink them. Drink the day you make them. Say I did it again. I only drink them when I'm like kind of low on my protein intake for the day. I don't use them if I don't have to. Okay. And I didn't feel like making lunch, so here we are. Don't lie. Michael had a whole pizza for lunch. I saw him. I wish I had a whole pizza. Actually, I don't. That'd be... Very bad for me to have that oh, for lunch. Oh, wait, hold on. That's really weird. They had an answer for this card? That's wild. And you can't even chain them back. I guess they do have one card in their hand, so that... Never mind. <laughs> they have one card in their hand for now. Maybe they'll vote for the wrong thing. We'll kill all their stuff. So we're going to play Whisperwood. Then they're going to untap this, and they're going to kill it immediately. Seems bad. Seems bad. Can't really bounce it. I don't really. Yeah, none of these things are great. Like I, because he, he can't even bounce the. Because, uh, 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 what you are can, you saying? You bounce the the uh, the portal, I guess. What does that do? Makes them cat. I mean, you're dead anyway. Okay. Low on protein intake, hogwash. They don't want you to know this, but squirrels outside are free to take and eat. <laughs> While true. Not okay. I think squirrels are pretty cute. And good luck catching one, buddy. Without weapons. But if you uh, use weapons, carnage. you're a coward. You don't deserve it. Yeah, man. Then you're just a sadist. Then you're some cruel weirdo. I think if you're killing squirrels and eating them, you're already in that category, to be fair. But you just go to the grocery store. Going to the I guess it's less school. free, but wow! I'll sack it in response. Got him! What a sucker! What a dummy! Stupid dummy! Dumb dumb! Look how silly you look. To be fair, if you're watching this, we don't actually think that about you. <clears throat> Maybe you don't. Oh, God! Even though we're getting absolutely crushed. 
One, two, three, four. Price of squirrels at the grocery six. store are too high. Wow. <laughs> too damn high. We get two cards here. Coma's a good one. Coma is a good one. One, two, three, four, I don't four, know if five, we have the time. Because if we have the time, I think Coma actually just wins. Who just has like, the time, you know? Just the game. You know? See, I wish I had one more land here, because then I can play Thrag Tusk this turn and Coma next turn. But Does that Chandra Dome faces? No. I mean, technically, you could they can exile the top card oh, okay. and deal you two. It's definitely Coma. Oh, Thrag Tusk seems very good here, actually. I agree. So Coma Thrag Tusk? We don't have the mana to cast Coma. Well, we can cast the carry of this turn, though, right? Right, but then, like, we cast Coma or Thrag Tusk next turn. Like, how much time do we have? We cast Thrag Tusk first, probably. Right? Actually, I, don't I don't know, know. man. Like, this taps down their, their Glorybringer forever, but... Probably good enough? I'm going to do it. I don't know. I don't know if it's correct. I don't think you take anything else, right? I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? You can also spend your guy if you want. Might as well. Oh, I like that. Actually, should we, though? Because it it's we're stuck on that. Eh, it's probably still good for be mana efficient. What are you saying right now? To be mana efficient. We should probably suspend it. Oh, no, I'm not doing that. Interesting. Uh, I'm gonna when I want to use it, I want to be able to use it at that point. Like it's an ability that I may need to get rid of something. Yeah. And I, I don't feel like based on the turns. Right, but if it randomly unsuspends in three turns, that could be like, what do we even do? Like, yeah. it might not do anything. Pestermite, fascinating. You can't even cast that. But it still does this. It does still domus. That's all that really matters. Domus and donuts. Do you think it's Thragtus first? Well, we gain five and then we take four. Yeah. So we're literally just like gaining one. But that's still gaining. Huh? Meanwhile, Koma can start making serpents and tapping down. Yeah, it's probably Koma. Now it's not anymore. Well, yeah, it still is. We're going to flip this little biscuit. Flip it up. Flip. flip. <laughs> Flippity doo dah. Dave. Yeah. Ah, yep, you got it. You got it. That's a pretty good blocker, turns out. Who? The 6-6. Six, six. <laughs> Give me my forest. Endurance. That Surprise. guy's got reach, but that's not super exciting. Yeah, it's still coming, all right? You just get to tap their deuter. I mean, it's a 6-6. Six, six. Prevents, yeah, I think it's still a play. Like, he hasn't showed us any burn yet, and so I think we're safe on that front for a turn. He can put us to three, though. I didn't know that we could do about that. Oh, I'm sure we'll be dead. I don't think we're going to survive. It'll cast the Thrag Tusk. If we do, though, I feel like we have a pretty good shot. Maybe. Maybe. He's draw two cards, which I don't like. Technically kind of three, because of genre. Uh-huh. Here's a Grimmy. Right, I don't care about that. That's, that's fine. It's fine. But they probably just need it. They really are not slow rolling us. Okay, island. So also, go, to, go to three. I guess they could have had a bolt this whole time and we're just dead, right? Because they've shown us like a bajillion of those. They've played two, though, so... Yeah, what did you mean when you said they haven't shown us any burn? Don't forget to tap the... It's too late. I already did. I... Oh! <sighs> Jesus, I hate streaming. That was extremely frustrating. <sighs> Yep, but I was completely distracted, so. That's frustrating. Think about streaming. Hey man, I corrected myself after that. Yeah, that's frustrating. What up, Pug? I'm going to just sit here in silence for a minute while the frustration mounts. Or subsides, I guess, is the word we're looking for. That was Amazon. I think we're just... Mm, fascinating. So... 
We can play two mana dorks on turn one or a Sylvan Library on turn one. I think the mana dorks have a much higher payoff. Especially if we draw another land, we get to play a Mull Drifter on turn two. Oh, that's fascinating as well. With only one land, though, ironically, the two mana dorks are actually a little better, especially because this one produces a blue. I mean, if we had a forest in hand, I would definitely play Rafellos here, but without a forest. Actually, maybe I still wouldn't because we need the blue source. Cool. He did not think it was cool. You're the worst. The liver worst. Dude, I'm so frustrated about that last game, man. I Just not knowing whether we could have pulled it out is really frustrating. Touche. Great, Scott. Look at this. Look at this attack I'm doing. This attack on Titan. So aggressive. And look, we set it up so that this guy was going to come into play. And now we should just flip it. Unbelievable. Yep, that's cute. You're interestingly not in the colors that like have the wheels, though, you know? I mean, still pretty good. No, it's definitely a, a solid banana banger. Oh, God. Oh, God. That's so good. Oh, wow. Oh, they get triggers even if you don't. Yeah, run. I don't like that. We were talking a lot of shit just a minute ago. Taking six is more than two. More at 11. Oh, God. We're never using that again. God, I might as well just... That's like drawing the cards. Except you're not. Except you're not. Michael Scott... Oh, and even Muldrift because it takes us... Oh, God, I'm vomiting in my mouth. And we can't even attack into it with our 4-4? Four -four? This is too much, man. This is too much. Yeah, I think considering the library, we're actually kind of fucked. Well, we just don't draw off library. Well, but you still get the trigger, right? No, you don't. It's a yes or no. You choose not to do it. Oh, you can choose to decline that entire operation. <laughs> that entire operation. I didn't know you could decline that part. Yeah, well, now you know. I usually never do that, you know? That's true. You usually never do that. Ideally, we would have not done it that last time, but, you know, live and let die. Live and let die. <laughs> Could have gone with live and learn there, but live and let die, I guess. is. No, I just, I, it had in my head from the Guns N' Roses song, so what are you going to do? I mean, I know. I really wanted that coma and I forgot it was on top. I'm not playing my best here, guys. So I hope you're not expecting much. I mean, you're pretty far off casting the coma, to be fair. I could have cast it this turn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> By a large margin. One, two, three, four, three, four, five, four, seven, eight. Or. Uh, yeah, in five turns, I can cast it off this one. I have two life. That's what I'm saying, bro. Yeah. It's back. That's Back in business, baby. <laughs> that's true. I have, if only I had anything to do with all of this mana. Well, you know, I wonder if you should cast Moldrifter anyway, though, because it like puts a clock on them. A clock? Yeah. It deals them two a turn, and I'm taking two a turn just by drawing a card. I'm at twelve; they're at twenty-one. I go down to eight. Right, but we have to kill it eventually, so we're drawing more cards. We don't, but we're not drawing at anything that kills it. What kills it? In our deck, actually nothing now that I think about it. So. Yeah, I'm just going to concede to this one shielder. That's hilarious. I mean, we have an Ugin, but then we, like, wipe our own board. I think we'd have to. Oh, my God, dude. What is this? This is... I guess you could attack into it and then post-combat shoot it if they do that. It's not great. I kind of just want to bring an opposition and derange tournament. We're going wide. Yeah, I mean, if you could just tap it down, we could we could have definitely won that game. Tell me more. No. <laughs> no. 
How'd your pizza turn out? I want to get an uni. Oh, those 900 million degree ovens. Oh, you don't need an uni for that. Like, I just put it in the oven. You put it on the oven at 550 degrees and you buy a steel baking pan, baking sheet. I mean, you got the money, though. Those things are probably pretty cool. Yeah, for sure. But, I mean, like, it's not necessary to make good pizza at home. Unless you're trying to make, like, legit Neapolitan, which was kind of more necessary because you need super high heat, but probably not 100%. I think I'm just getting rid of the catcher to try them. Get rid of it. I did. It's gone, okay? Stupid. Leave me alone. Land's gone. Yes, land's gone. Wow. And if you guys want to support the channel, definitely, definitely consider subscribing to HelloFresh, the sponsor of the stream. You can find them right up there with the promo code. You get 21 free meals over the course of your first eight boxes, and you get free shipping which is a great deal. Uh, me and Katie got it. We got some today that came in and uh, came to about $5 a meal, less than that. It was $28 for six meals between the two of us. Um, so less than five bucks a meal. And you get to spend, it's $28 and you get to su- support the channel. And I get a great kickback through HelloFresh. So it's a really, really sweet way to support the channel while also like literally getting food out of it. It's not like it's even free, you know? So, like, if you guys want to support the channel, definitely consider subscribing to HelloFresh. You can cancel after the first week, even. You spend the 28 bucks, you get the free meals. Um, you can cancel if you don't like it. We have personally always enjoyed it every time we got it. So, that was less of an issue for us. But, you know, there's no commitment, really. So, basically, if you guys want to support the channel, it's a great way to do it. Um, you know, just... At least consider it because it definitely helps me out a ton, especially as someone who was recently laid off and looking for any help the sponsorships can provide. So appreciate you. Check it out and, uh, you know, get some food. What is even happening here? So you are playing blue and red? Well, Euro would have made a drop, made us draw a card, and then that would have canceled out that life game. Are you ready for opposition? And then our opponent never gets to do anything again. That might be fun. That'd be pretty cool, bro. They miss a land drop, or is this just the biggest Thank land? You. Eric with the gifted subs and the resub. Thank you so much, buddy. Oh man, I appreciate you, my dude. Thank you. Good times, dude. Thank you so much. I will not pay for that. Thank you. What if you say no the first time and then yes the, the next time? Thank you. Thank you. Are we going to do a little concession here? Are you going to block with your baleful? <sighs> Eric, appreciate you, my dude. Hey, man, which one should I pick? pick? It's up to you. That's up to you, man. Michael's trying to do HelloFresh right now on his phone. Also, like, just to be clear, Eric, tw- five gifted subs is 25 bucks. You can get HelloFresh for, like, 28 bucks, And it's literally, the kickback to me is, like, five times that. So it's, like, kind of insane. Um, I don't know how to emphasize. Like, if you guys want to support the channel and get and get food out of it while you're doing it, it's a great way to do it. Like, uh, we did three recipes. And each gives you two servings. So it was six meals. So you pick three of this part? I think so, yeah. Okay. And we're just going to tap all your thingies down. All right, now I'm trying to do this. So let's not. 
Eric, super appreciate it, man. Thank you so much, buddy. And now we're going to have the opposition fun deck. So that's cool. Not for our opponent. That's true. That's for true. Let's play this guy. We're only for true. What does that even mean? You really like that? No, I'm good. Thank you. Five. So I'm actually going to pass right now. One, two, three, four. Actually, no, I'm not. We're going to get in there with this little little cheeky gentleman. He's getting in there with a cheeky, cheeky gentleman. gentleman. I've had in the past trying to use your cuddling suit. No. Oh, see, that's so sad. Yeah, it's it's New Year's for sure. And Eric said I already got HelloFresh, but gifting. Dude, I appreciate it. Don't get me wrong. I didn't want to imply that, like, I don't. I'm just trying to give the, the like, I, I think because I was surprised at how cheap it was for six meals. Like, it's less than 30 bucks, like out the door. And like, that's, that surprised me. And so I just want to make sure people know that because that's definitely an incentive. It's a really sweet deal. I got it for free for a month and I moved into an apartment and the old tenants were too lazy to switch. You're like, oh, cool. I guess I'll just eat this. <laughs> yeah, it's self-contained. So you're just like, all right, all, all the ingredients are here to make this. So... Is that what you say to your girlfriend? Wow. I don't know what that means, but... It's kind of dirty, though. That's true. So they discarded Grave Titan, Spellseeker, and Swamp. This is bad value. Thanks, Thanks Eric. I was going to tell uh, my Amazon Echo to delete my notifications. But the last time I did that, I deleted other people's notifications too. And they were like, hey, that's my notifications. And I was like, that's a... They, they didn't really get mad. They, they just said it was... They just uh, mentioned it and I thought it was hilarious. If you're going to tap your mana, we're just going to go to your draw step and make either use it or lose it. That's what they tell me happens. Either you either use it or you lose it. Dude, I just got an email back from Biagis. They, they did pretty, pretty bad. bad. Well, you can go into that if you want. Dinner experience at Biagis. Oh, yeah. We went to... I don't know if... It's not a super popular... It's not popular, but it's not super uh, present... Uh, there's a restaurant called Biagi's in Loveland. It's an Italian restaurant. It's very good. We've liked it in the past a lot. But this this Friday we went, this Thursday we went, and it was like one of the worst dining experiences I've ever had. Well, I think you're right about the address. I don't need to do it. I don't want to do it. Uh, Katie actually, yeah, I'll just, I'll tell you later. Um, okay. Draw two and discards. We're still in the draw step. Sure, you got the black. Okay, so we went, and we went with our, our friends Jake and Cassidy, and Jake ordered a steak, and he ordered it medium rare. It came out, and it was like blue. Yeah, blue rare. Very and Jake's like, yeah, it looks raw. fine, you know, it's not terrible. But then, like, once he bit into it, he was like, no, oh, this is way too raw, dude. And, and we were like, yeah, we could tell. Um, So they sent it back. I'm trying to, I'm trying to like figure I'm trying to do this. So I'm not like timing out or. Yeah. Tap. Bingo. You tap that too. No, just the one black. Okay. We're going to go to the next step and give you that green, I guess. They didn't tap that. They just let it go. Okay. Now it's gone. All right. Very fascinating. Why didn't you just tap their mocks too? You just don't have to be hasty, right? Yeah, they have to be hasty. You got it. You're never getting that guy to Zither Trigger. Zither Trigger. 
Might as well tap this guy down. Okay, I will get back to the story in a second, though. Oof. Big oof. Keep giving them tokens. Giving them tokes. They're making wolf every turn. It seems like they, there's no way they can keep up with that. This guy also makes a guy every turn. Yeah. I don't know did. if you knew. I didn't. Perhaps you've heard of him. Oh Wild. Wow. What's this guy putting out, you think? Oh, an L. $42? That's pretty insane. I don't think I can beat that at the grocery store. <laughs> That's $4 a meal. I just ordered. Oh, man. That's awesome, dude. That's a that's a good deal. Choose it. I'll choose this fancy, beautiful land you have. Fancy and beautiful. And land. Yes. Hmm. <laughs> Are you okay? Yes. They're just going to loot forever. Well. Negative looting. How do you feel about draw two, discard three as a... Very good in his deck, probably. Because he's doing the whole reanimate. Overall, though, please allow me to send you a $100 gift card. Wow. That's pretty good. And we won that game. Yeah, opposition's a hell of a drug. I was like, I spent $4 just to, just for the cream for the pasta sauce I made last night. Yeah. Okay, after this round, actually, I'll just read the email I sent. And it'll pretty much explain what happened. And then, because they just sent, they, they were just like, hey, we'll just give you a $100 gift card. I was like, oh my God, that's amazing. I've never had a company give me that much. Like, that's insane. I mean, like I said, I even said in the email, I'm like, every other experience we've had here has been great, but this one was pretty rough. Like, I'm not, I'm not, a, like, I, we're not like Karens that are like, every, nothing is good enough. Like, usually we love going there, but. Yeah, we've been several times. Yeah, but my first entree had a hair in it. And then I got, I got the chicken marsala. And then the second time I got it, it came out and it was literally like pink inside. It was like, it looked like canned tuna fish because it was so pink and undercooked. Also the first time it was also kind of pink. I thought that too. But I didn't say that. I didn't say that because the hair was enough. You know what? I honestly felt. I saw the chicken and I was like, God, it looks a little undercooked, but I don't know if anyone so will agree with me. Because yeah, you're like weird about that. Well, yeah. no, because like I felt like I was kind of like maybe being paranoid. Right. But so then like once I saw the hair, it almost like reassured me. I was like, okay, great. That actually gives me a surefire way to send this back without having to, it's, it's not objective anymore or subjective, right? Right. Like it's no longer this, this thing that like, oh, maybe it's undercooked. Maybe it's not. Mm, I don't know. And with Jake's, they, they sent it back. back. They cooked it again, but they literally looked almost the same. So they they like put it on for like half a second, and then the the waitress recommends we get a new steak. The waitress was very good; she was great. Um, and she's like, "We'll get you a new steak and make sure it's cooked right." But instead, the manager, who was a dick, didn't give him a new steak. They used the same steak and then burnt it. Dude, they sent the same like the waitress. And it was chopped up. The waitress was wonderful. She came and she's like, "No, it still looks undercooked. Let me let me let, let's send it back and we'll get you a new steak." Those are her words. She said, we'll get you a new steak. It comes back out. It's the same steak cooked a third time. So it's all charred on the outside. Topped up. And it's all like in bits and pieces because it's been cut into so many times. And I was just like, that looks like the most unappetizing like thing. Yeah, it you looks too dog. I was like, I cannot believe you were just too stubborn to like give us another steak. If you cook <laughs> a steak three times, it's going to be pretty dry. Yeah, it was wild, dude. I was like, that is not the, and they didn't, they didn't comp us for anything at the end. And I'm not like somebody who's like, give me free stuff. It was a situation of like Jake after that steak. And after my, my, my second send back, like we both sent our meals back twice after that, we were just like, we don't want anything. It's fine. Like I, I don't need, I, I don't want to wait another 30 minutes for another meal to come out and cross my fingers that it's, that it's good. You know? Also, we didn't mention in the email cause it didn't seem necessary, but Katie's uh, pot, uh, soup that we've had several times and I've had it too was like greasy, which it should never be. It was weird. And well, it's a creamy soup right. and when you overheat it, when it when it's heated too long, the cream, oh, it, the it fat separates. and the, yeah. yes, the fat and the cream separates. separate. And then also, I didn't mention it either because I had chicken parm. The chicken parm was great, but the pasta was like 
almost crunchy. It was so al dente. Like, it was weird. But I just didn't mention anything because it was, like, still... I could eat it. <laughs> it's just, like, the bare minimum, so... It's not very good. I wonder if I, I should have just played this guy. I don't really want to waste this yet, though, because next turn we can play Tovalar's Huntmaster. So anyway, the point is, we, we both left without eating a meal. Jake didn't finish his meal. He had three bites of steak that were undercooked. I didn't finish my meal, obviously. I didn't get it. And then nothing was coming. They weren't like, hey, we'll, we'll cover your drinks and your, you know, your." We, we I had a small salad and, and Mike B had a small salad and K Katie had soup. But like, they weren't like, we'll cover that. They weren't like, hey, we'll get you a free dessert or something. It was just like, they were just like, okay, no food for you. See you later. Like, it was so weird. Like, there was no there was no addressing. Manager didn't apologize. Right, it was a really really weird. Which is like literally like it's the bare their minimum job. To right, come out and apologize at least. Like if minute. I if two people at a table send food back twice, twice. For, for faults of theirs, I expect the manager to come out and be like, "Hey, I'm really sorry you had this experience. Like, you know, we'll, we'll make it right. There's this is not you know up to standard. Whatever you know, whatever you're gonna say. Like really, did they run out of gas back there? Why are they not cooking these meat, meats properly? Yeah, it was super weird. Uh, this is a restaurant called Biagi's. It's close to us. It's in Loveland, Colorado. Again, we've been there like, I don't know, seven times by my account at least. It's usually very good. And, you know, six out of seven, they're perfect. Very good food. It was just such a weird experience because it was like, no, no, no meal for you? Okay, The chef see was you just later. like pissed off that day and like, just making shit but, food. I don't but know. But why? Why can't you? It was weird. But they did just respond and give them a $100 gift card. So if you can't handle the restaurant at their worst, then you don't deserve them at their best. <laughs> It's true. Well, if we could eat it, maybe I could see that, but, you know. I don't know. I guess for me, it's like, I just expect the food to be cooked, and that's kind of the minimum. That's my bar. That's my floor. That's a pretty low bar. I agree. I agree. I don't think you can set it much lower. Maybe you can't. Right, I can't. You can't set my bar? No, I can't. Okay. I don't have that power. Okay. Okay. Excuse me? You're excused. Really would love a blue mana here. Yeah. I think that would, again, just end the game. Maybe. Opposition plus those tokens is pretty... Necromancy. Brutal. Change my mind. I mean, they did. Necromancy. Thirst for discovery. Looking for re reanimate. Animate dead. Oh, they're just killing that guy. That's fine. I don't even care about that. You don't even care? I don't even care, bro. Kill a deranged hermit, please. Dang it, they didn't. That's really sad, because now I just lose the little gentleman, you know? Cool. Well, sometimes you just don't have any lane. I was so close to this Tovalar's Huntmaster until they killed Rafellos and and devoted druid and deranged hermit, killing everybody. Literally, my whole my whole squad is gone. I don't know if this is game two or game three. Do we know? It's killing again. I think this is game three, actually, because game one we lost to Shieldred. So, fancy, oh, you're right. We forgot it was a sushi oh, restaurant. Yeah, this is this is over. Yeah, that chicken gonna, sushi. You know, we're gonna go to the next. This is terrible. This has not been my day for vintage cube drafts, unfortunately. Christian, I'm so sorry. Our alternate casting costs have not have not. Uh, you know, you get it. Can you uh, try to read that sentence? Uh, MTG Sasand Mike for not do great picks. E hat is bedetter. Does that sound right? No, but okay, just checking. I can't even begin to decipher that. They must have fell asleep on the keyboard. Or English is not their first language. That could also be it. Yes, you should be a little. You should be more aware of that that fact. Sometimes, I will keep this hand. Like you got to be more. More worldly. No 
don't speak uh, American, apparently. Dear God. Because that's not a language. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. That's what they call the nuts. Down here, salt is a way of life. <laughs> yeah. They only have 11 cards in the deck. Maybe we can deck them. Yeah. I'm sure we'll... They have to discard 17 cards right now, so that's good, right? I'm sure that can't possibly benefit them in any way. We'll be fine. We basically win. <laughs> Same. It, I don't know. It might be. In the zone. Okay. Nice. Very zone. Nice deck. Hold on. You guys ready for this cool play? Misty Rainforest. Crack it. Oh, man. Look at those actions. Ooh. You're a move. You got anything to kill us in there? Yeah, you know, probably. A little mog. <laughs> ready? Yeah. Let's see. Hold on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this up. Oh, Cabal Ritual. You think that's... You think they got threshold? No. I mean, it's basically like Doomsday, right? Where you just get to craft the perfect hand of... Seven cards. I don't know what that was. Yogmoth's will? Sure. Oh, I tried to click outside of. I was just going to cast the Ulamog. That's exciting. Well, you know, let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Ritual gets there, right? It's just 10 minutes. Only got seven mana, bro. They go to six. They go to nine. They already cast the ritual. What are you talking about? They're all cast. Well, the, did they already do the darkie? Yes, that's how they got seven mana. I don't know. I'm sure. Oh, they can just shout grave it, right? Who knows what they're doing? They probably just have tendrils in hand. They're just going to tendrils us. Oh, for right. six. Because that's obviously. Yeah, because you're obviously also a tendrils deck. Oh, God damn. They are. They are, yep. There's no reason they would. Yeah. No, they're not. Well, they're just, just, just going to yeah, reanimate yeah. something here, Michael. They entombed, so. What is that? Wait, what? Maybe they are tenderling. They are tenderling. Yeah. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. Oh my god. Jeez, come on, dude. Why are you like this? Well, this has been. This might be an O three. I actually thought this deck looked pretty decent when we when we actually finished it. Ooh, this guy could could do it. Could do a number. This is the kind of deck that, like, if they get there, we, we can't really compete. Maybe you can't. Don't speak for me, Michael. We did lose last round, so. Or game. Whatever what? it is. I don't know. Are you talking round? about, yeah, game? games are individual, rounds are a series of games. Huh. Huh. I thought they were what you make out of pizzas. You think you make pizzas out of rounds? Other way around. Around. Other way around? <laughs> what the fuck are you saying? Please, someone translate. No one can. It's not oh. even me. Won't someone think of the children? <sighs> there you go. Entomb. I should have just... Do I just keep this up forever for the rest of my life? I think you do. That's how they win. You get your scripts. Okay. Script, 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 script. Actually, if they don't reanimate here and we just get to keep up endurance, that's pretty satisfying. No, that was actually turn one when they reanimated and then they killed us on their tomb two. Their tomb two. <laughs> Kill me on my tomb two.
They basically had the nuts. And we don't have horse oil, so. What are you going to do? Die. That's it. Wow. Just die. Charter course into... Oh, no. You got it. Well, at least if they're animating, animating, we can do something about it. Or if they're yog moth willing. At any point, really. So we can just play it too. We don't gotta book it. That's kind of cool, you know. Maybe. <sighs> Ooh, boy, aren't you a spicy boy? Goodbye, little biscuits. See you later, Emmerichu. It's all in the same bracket because they just like oh. fizzled. Oh. See you later, champ. Well, I think we might win this one. If you wish. Do you wish that? Oh, little Jimmy. Uh, I guess I should have played Shell Dog. God, I'm so bad at this game. Oh, what up, Chris? Frank, does it ever seem weird that you sit here playing a card game on the internet that there are 130 people watching like a decent sized turn? <laughs> yeah, it's. I. I. It's really creepy sometimes. Stop watching me. No, don't. Keep no, watching me. Don't, don't say that. I was just kidding. Please. Please stay. Like Lisa Loeb would say. Uh, Lisa Loeb, who wrote the song. Stay. True. Sure. Okay. It's probably popular. I don't know that's where I've heard it, but I couldn't, couldn't tell you. Yeah. 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 Michael, why aren't you at least a Loeb expert? You have to be an expert to know like a hit song. You'll know the song if I play it. Bet. You can't though because you might get demonetized. I'll play it after this when I'm not recording anymore. Smart. Thank you. Welcome. <laughs> Did they have the perfect three to deal with my the squad? Human Druid, Elemental Incarnation, and an Elemental. Double L. Oh my god, really? There's oh. no way. There's no way you had Land and Tomb reanimate spell. That's not how that thing works, by the way. Tendrils for two. Okay, you're just you're just surviving. That's not how what thing works, by the way. The second part of that creature. It's different powers, right? Yeah. But you started naming types of creatures. I was literally just naming what the creatures are. It had nothing oh, to do with okay. this ability. My bad. It was your bad. It was your terrible bad. <laughs> Watch this. Yeah, Super Fritz, how did the this? old sandwich mine go today? There we go. Did you get the buffalo lung? The buffalo long? The lung. The buff lung? <laughs> the buff lung. It's the new, this is the new trend in the gym. Get those buff lungs. I had the buff lung once. All the TikTokers are doing it. Buffalo. <laughs> yeah, do your big stretch. Oh, I got my little Arby's out. I'm gonna do a big stretch. Ooh, wee, ooh, look at me. Why stretching feels so good. You serious? Get that blood flowing, baby. <laughs> Don't be proud of yourself. Oh, yeah. oh. Coming back alive. Is it? Yeah. I was dead before. That's a bummer. I think we're just going to try to Rafelos on turn two. It feels like it's a stronger play. We're probably dead, though, because they Imperial sealed and we have no endurance. Which means we need at least like six turns to get moving. Yep, here we go. What is this? <laughs> you old salty dog, you. That seems good. Oh, boy. It's like one of the best cube decks I've ever seen. <laughs> this is one of the best decks I've ever seen. Why no turn one suspend? Because I want to play Ruffalos on turn two. And I love it when customers don't be showing up, you know? It's great. I'm vaccinated against Buffalo Lung and Mayonnaise Foot. <laughs> I don't know what Mayonnaise Foot is, but it sounds disgusting. A little mayonnaise in my mouth.
I guess I'll sacrifice this guy. Because really, what choice do I have, you know? If you're willing to sacrifice that. Then. You might say, what am I willing to sacrifice, you know? Mm -hmm. It's weird to have a job where you do depend on customers, but at the same time, you don't want them there. Fascinating. That is fascinating. Because, like, technically, it doesn't matter how many people call me, but if enough don't, eventually we wouldn't have a job. Who? Like, uh, my company wouldn't exist if enough people didn't call. You don't exist. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Get it. It's all part of the matrix, you know? Yeah, I know. Because your mayonnaise I'm still, foot. I'm still plugged in because of my mayonnaise foot. <laughs> yeah, it's rough. What do you take here? Everflowing Chalice or Tribe Elder? Who knows? Uh, Thrift and Mitch, yes, mostly. What would you do if food delivery guy stole your umbrella in front of the door? I mean, I'd be shocked, but like... But not appalled, just shocked. I mean, like, what are you going to do about it? You know, it's really like one of those situations where it's like, what am I going to do? I mean, I also complain to the... I would complain to whatever deliver. I'd be like, hey, your guy stole my umbrella. I was like, it's a weird thing to steal. We have a ring, so like we could actually be like, I'll show you the video. He took it right off the, the porch. Poach. No, porch. No, porch. I understand. <laughs> what does this dude do? Whenever you activate it, each creature card in your hand has a ninjutsu. That's actually... Wait. Oh, wow. Uh, it's, it's actually very terrifying. <laughs> It makes Ver it's very terrifying. It makes Emrakul cost four mana. <laughs> yeah, I actually didn't realize that until right this second, and now I feel you know that card's busted. Very interesting. This is very interesting. Now I have to. Uh, this might be. This might be a cube. Oh, you don't have that in the cube? No. That card's a banger. That card's so good. Like if I were to ever play Commander and they showed me that, I'm like, What do you got in your deck? I need to know. Or is, is this going to be a fun time or a bad time? Actually, <laughs> top three cards of your library. Oh, and you can also like so. Yeah, it's good. So it's Emrakul really comes down, and then you also get to ponder? Yeah, it's pretty strong. Also, it's got a sick uh, alt art, so done by one of my favorite artists. Oh, yeah, it do. Yeah, Yoji Shinkawa, my boy. He's not my boy. We don't hang out. Do I wish you, we did. Do that you know cool. him? No, that'd be sweet if I did. But Do you think we're dead? I think we're dead. I think we're very dead, dead if he untaps, which he did, so we're dead. <laughs> so that was the criteria. I guess if he has literally nothing. I don't think he does. And even then, he's not doing that bad. They're going to make us discard Ugin. That's going to be rough. Just because someone mentioned I work for a bank, basically. And every single I put it... Uh, That's not English. Promoted to resolutions, so basically when someone asks for a manager, they're talking to me. Believe it or not, they made me a manager. I don't, wild stuff. I actually don't believe it. Also, I help out like if uh, like newbies or people that don't know an answer, they'll call or us because we're like the experts. So, and by that I mean I generally am really good at looking up stuff I don't know, but I do know most of everything at this point. Which oh, it does have to be unblocked actually, so that's good. We do have a a way to get around it for now. Okay, that makes me feel a little better because I can I can block this guy with my. Does it go off anytime soon? No. No. I mean, you have experience managing the rat train. That's true. It's funny. A lot of times, uh, Frank will joke because, like, on the phone, I, I sound. Joke. <laughs> I sound like such a professional, real person. Yeah, he doesn't talk like the way he talks on stream at all. Like, all of his sentences are coherent. He's like, like really. I'm just really impressed. It's like a different person. It's pretty wild. Yeah, I'm like, he turns it on, and then when he gets done, he's like, yeah, it's, it's all, it's all I'm gone. Like, what are you saying? How do you, I, I like, I just heard a totally different human being I talking on that. We joke about it, but I do think that adds to when I'm not on the phone, like my ability to just like not stay in that moment and talk that well. This is because I use up a lot of energy doing so. They're really trying to get through with this guy. Okay, I forgot they had to connect for some reason. Sacrifice a creature. Uh, this guy. We joke about my intelligence, but if you called, you wouldn't know it was me, and I would definitely solve all your things. Are we actually getting? Are we actually doing well this game? Because right now we're gonna have endurance online. He didn't kill us with that oh, guy. That's a great. So that's a great hit off right. ancestral. Let me get one more land out of it. No. Okay. 
I think it depends on what they talk like. I think it depends on what they talk like. Also, I have to like write emails, which we, which makes I have to do English properly. Then me have to do English properly. I even have to send things to customers with my last name and stuff on it too. So like, there's no mistaking if I if I make a mistake, they're gonna know. So I handle some pretty complicated things. Oh my though, God, actually. can we one two this? Jeez, having the endurance in the chamber is really clutch. Especially with only two cards, because their plan right now seems to be. Uh, reanimating or ninjutsuing, and we got the ninjutsuing side on lockdown. So, I think we're gonna pull it up. That's what she said. Call back. No, I, no, no, no. I don't do scripts. No, we don't. We don't do yeah, that. Yeah, Michael's a live agent. He's li he's living in the moment. No, that's more like sales stuff. I mean, newbies do have a script that they oh follow. God. Hold on, hold on. Stop talking. Sure. I'm holding on. Oh, this is pretty disgusting, actually. Guess who's back? And Duran's back. Ah! Guess who's back. Ah, the one-two. We did it. I, you know what? That's all I needed. I just needed to know I could win one match, and that was a satisfying victory, because especially because that game one with the friggin' Dark Ritual into Entomb yeah, we got into bodied. Crystal Brand. Yeah, that was nice. It wasn't even close. <laughs> Guys, check out HelloFresh. Do yourself a favor. Get Fresh free up. food. Support the channel. Subscribe and follow, and I'll see you next time. Kerwit, thank you for the stip, buddy. Really appreciate it. I hope we did it justice. It's hard because there's, like, not a ton of alternate casting costs, but... I think we got there. I think... That felt good. That felt good. I'll see you guys next time.